welcome to B Sides with your boy T Girl 108. Hey, you can snow, man. And we're back another week to talk to you guys and girls about nerd shit. If it's your first time listening to us, you can find us at YouTube at Swirly Nerd. Also, you can find us at SwirlyNerd.com. We're Swirly Nerd on Twitter, Instagram, all over the place. So I'd like, share, subscribe. Fuck with us. So yeah, I wanted to talk about how you really do need to buy physical media. Just recently on HBO, they just came out and just canceled almost every cartoon that they ever like made for they for their thing. And, and you're like, okay, that's cool, shit. I can still watch it on like you know their their, their you know app. Mm-hmm. No, you can't. They took those off of the owner too. And it's multiple shows like that. Just like that they fucked over so hard. Like um like the you know that show I told, talked about Affinity uh, Train. Yeah. They took that off there. They took it off and they scrubbed all their social media of the show that even existed. And they came out and said, uh, basically, not HBO, but people basically come out and said, like, they just didn't pay them on uh, uh, royalties. And paid, like, the union fees and all the insurance on that shit. So just cut everything. And, you know, just recently, they got bought up by uh, Discovery. So Discovery owns uh, HBO and all that shit now. And that just once again solidifies for me once again that you do need to buy physical. Don't rely on these damn streaming sites, man. These streaming sites is not gonna save you from these shows, man. Go ahead and have them. Like this is how media becomes lost because there's no physical copy of it. Sometimes people don't care about a show to preserve it, <clears throat> and sometimes so sh- they don't even come out like. This whole Batman show, there's nothing out there that shows that it exists. Like, yeah, th- this is a show that's supposed to have been made by the original, like uh, n- the '90s Batman TV show. Yeah, um, and it's, called, it's gonna be called the Cape Crusader, but they ended up canceling it because they didn't want to spend no money on. It's messed up. Like I say, it's, it's straight disrespectful for these creators, for HBO and these major companies to have them produce something only to. Have it get canceled. Pretty much pissing on what they did for years. They wasted so much time doing something that they thought was come to life, only to have it get killed, like for no reason. Because why? Because of streaming. Yeah, and I employ everybody to go look it up. Look up HBO. You know, cancels cartoons on on Google or whatever, and you'll see a whole bunch of stuff about like you know the creators of these shows on Twitter talking about how they got fucked over. And how they worked hard, you know. You know, we worked five years on this TV show, and now it just don't exist. Imagine that. You worked on that's like, um, like shit. Uh, what's it? Uh, Toei cutting all the Dragon Ball shit and, and acting like that shit never existed. It's like, damn. But that's how they do it, man. You got you gotta buy physically, man. Shit, I ain't saying about everything that comes out on fucking Blu-ray, but. You can definitely get the things you love. I always say, buy the things you love, man. Have that shit physically. You never know. Cause so I don't got time to be uh, looking up a thousand apps to watch some one movie. I'm just gonna fire stick it. Yeah, I also wanted to add on that it they don't even let them have the rights of their TV shows. A lot of people don't understand that, like. Like when you make a TV show for like um, for American television, like you trade you trade your rights for that show to get funding to make it. So basically, any person who says they created a TV show, um, they don't have they don't own the rights to that, so they can fire them. That's why a lot of you will see a lot of TV shows they'll fire the creator and keep move the show keep going because the creator don't own it. Like that's sort of messed up. That's why the deals are different from back in the day. That's why how that's how Bill Cosby got so much money is because Bill Cosby he made a deal that made him a damn near a billionaire. And they're like, oh shit, we gotta change these deals. But they don't do it for the white folks. How you'll see that if you look it up, that the major deals that the the, the the cast of Friends got and Modern Family, all these little white TV shows, they got good deals, make them pay forever. Look at Seinfeld. Shit, um, Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld, damn near billionaires, and they only made one TV show that came out in the '90s. And they can ride off that forever. Not Larry David. I mean, Kirby Enthusiasm is way better. 
but it, it's really messed up what's going on with like these tv shows and movies man you gotta be more cautious than ever when it comes to watching this stuff and buying physically is more important than ever um that's not only you can show that shit, these shit exists because nowadays they're gonna wipe it look at the uh, nintendo eShop. There, you can't even add funds to your 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 3DS to buy games that's on their shop that having sales and all this other stuff. They're just screwing people over, man. Hardcorely. I mean, all I can tell the uh, I mean, being a consumer is shit. You have to buy physical. You have to. That's like the the point of this whole short episode. It's to show, like, man, you have to buy physically, man. That digital shit they trying to get you, like. And just some, they got you spending sixty dollars, and it's like like it's nothing. You ain't even getting intangible with the move the game. They're treating games like it's a goddamn some tissue. Oh, you just buy one every week. No, man, that's sixty goddamn dollars, and y'all should look at that. Vote with your goddamn wallet. Don't be a little pussy. Like a lot of these creators, of like these. HBO like cartoons they even said like man I don't even have I don't can't even find my original like 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 versions of the stuff we made because they own it I have to go to a, a torrent site to get my stuff they like they're fucked so hard like that's fucked up you worked on something for years and you, you get nothing from it be more cautious on like the, the things you watch man I'm not saying buy everything on blu-ray DVD but just Find things you love and please just try to grab it. Because shit, that shit gonna be worth more money. Where can they find you, Yugi? You can find me on my website, yukidasoma.com. You can find me on Facebook, Facebook.com slash yukidasoma. On Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. You can find me, Yuki, the summer 314. And if you want help, my crap, Cash App. My Cash App is dollar sign, Benjamin. Yeah, dollar sign, Benjamin A. Snow. B A S R, all capitalized. You want to find me? I'm TV Guru 108 on Twitter. I'm Dark Dreams Bright Ideas on YouTube. You can also find me on Instagram at TV Guru 108. And you can hit me up with my cash app down in the description below. We'll see you guys and gals in the next one. Later.